Hello everyone, and uh, it is now 9 p.m. I believe, yeah, uh, well I'm actually a minute early, <laughs> but we're pretty much at 9 p.m. and I mentioned that I was going to come on tonight and do a live uh, to answer some questions that you might, guys might have on the upcoming launch of the Masterful Path. And um, so I've got a few questions actually. Thank you guys for, uh, for for submitting these questions. Some of you did it in person, and some of you actually uh, use the comments, etc. And I appreciate both. So why don't we get going, Berta? It's nice to see you and Sharon. It's great to see you too. <laughs> okay. So um, with that in mind. I wanted to start with what is the difference actually between the mentorship program that we're launching next week that's going to come up next week and the self mastery group that we've got going um, attached to the Red Door Yoga Facebook page right now. So the difference between the two of them is that the self mastery uh, group that's going on right now that a number of you are involved in, um, the lessons that come up are uh, they're random. So they're small lessons that come up that don't have a sequence behind them. Um, whereas the mentorship program has a logic behind, you know, how everything is moving. Each lesson is pertaining to different stages and are meant to build upon one another. Hi, Kathy. Good to see you. Um, and so, and that's, that's definitely uh, a marked difference between the self mastery group that's going on right now and the mentorship program. Okay. So there is a logical pathway behind the lessons in the mentorship program that isn't there in the current self mastery group. The second thing is in the mentorship uh, program, when you guys enter into the mentorship, the first thing you're going to do within the, the, the week, the first week is there's an onboarding process and hi Cindy and on the, um, Hi, Libby. On the onboarding process, there is actually um, a, a questionnaire that you're going to go through that is going to tell you what stage you are at in self-mastery. So there's actually a success path that I've laid out for you guys in this mentorship, and you're going to end up on one of those stages. Now, in relation to the stages, every lesson that I give you guys within the mentorship is going to have specific homework for those uh, for, for those stages. So when you uh, get your lesson, you're going to be looking at it and it'll say if you're at, you know, the stage one, which is the novice stage, if you're at the, you know, advanced beginner stage, if you're at this, this is what you do with this lesson. So the practical homework that I'm giving you that's meant to allow you to implement the stuff and learn from the stuff and integrate it into your life is specifically geared to where you're at. And that isn't the case in the self mastery that's going on right now um, on Facebook. Okay, so that's one of the other major differences between the mentorship program and the self mastery group. Uh, so another, a third thing that is different between the two things is that in the uh, the masterful path mentorship. I'm going to be doing live Q&A. So it would be like what's going on right now. See, on the path of self-mastery, everybody, everybody, myself included, everybody, we're going to hit sticking points. And sometimes they're little sticking points, but it's amazing how, you know, just a little sticking point can become a, a big blockage to, to progress. You know, um, a lot of you who know me know that my father's a yogi and that he uh, has been my mentor my entire life. And I really honestly have lived the difference of having a mentor who I could go to whenever there were sticking points, who I could go to whenever something, I, I wasn't able to see through something and I can still do this. Um, and so the live Q&As are to serve that purpose. So that's where, you know, during the, the weeks, you guys will send questions to me, you know, when you're hitting sticking points, and then I'm going to come on every every month and do a, a live Q&A where I'm going to address those, those questions, address those sticking points so that you can continue to progress, you can continue to move forward, okay? So that's another difference between the mentorship versus the self-mastery group that we have uh, going on right now. Okay, so... Another question that came up, how much time is it going to require from you guys? Hi, Terry, good to see you. Um, so how much time is it going to, to take from you? So essentially how the mentorship is set up is that uh, every Monday, every week, there's going to be one lesson. So the first week, there's going to be a lesson called the, the monthly challenge. And so that lesson is going to set out a topic 
that um, we're going to look at. You're gonna, there's going to be a video, there's going to be an audio lesson, and there's going to be a text lesson. So it's the same lesson, but it comes in three different formats because um, some of you guys who are in the self-mastery group right now, you know that I, I put out this poll, this questionnaire for you, uh, you know, a few months back to find out, you know, how do you want your lessons to be, to be structured? And what came out was most people definitely want it in video format, but there are still a certain num a number of people who would like, uh, you know, audio as a second uh, uh, option. And some did request test text. So I've done pretty much every single one of your mentorship lessons in all three formats so that you can take it on the road with you, you can watch it on your computer. Um, and so when you look at that lesson, that monthly challenge lesson that's going to come up on the first Monday, in terms of how much time it's going to take from you, it's going to take you maybe five to seven minutes. That's it. So it's not going to take a lot of time from you to go through that lesson. The homework piece uh, will be dependent on the stage that you're at, on the, the success path of self-mastery, okay? So for some of you, the homework piece might require you to do something for, you know, half an hour once or twice a week. Or maybe your home piece might require you to do something for half an hour, you know, three to four times a week or five times a week, okay? Um, so as you go along with your master's, you're moving up in your stages, the requirement does increase, but actually it also be, should not um, become burdensome because you wouldn't be at those higher stages unless you'd already integrated these lower stages into your life already. So it's not like you're going to be making a big jump, okay? Um, so, you know, if I were to kind of ballpark for you how much time it's going to take from you, it's going to take, you know, in terms of going through the lesson itself, it's going to take you five to seven minutes to go through the lesson. And then in terms of the homework, it's something that's integrated in your daily living, and it's going to take you, you know, anywhere from you know, 10 minutes a day to, let's say, if, if you're at the beginner stages, to maybe 20 to half an hour, you know, a day. Um, whereas if you're at the upper stages, then it may take you anywhere from, you know, an hour a day to, let's say, two hours a day. But that, that sounds like a big jump right now, but it's, you wouldn't be at this higher stage if you'd, you hadn't already been integrating a certain amount of practice time into your daily living, okay? So it's not actually a big jump in terms of what it's going to require of you. All right. Um, so the next thing, uh, oh, and I should say where that's, re you know, regarding in terms of the time is that the two of the biggest reasons that people don't make progress on their path is overwhelm. So I've been very careful to break your lessons and even what is being requested of you homework wise, I've been very careful to break it down in such a way that it's not going to overwhelm you. Okay, I want to make that really clear because that was very purposeful on my part. So I don't want you to worry that you're going to be overwhelmed. Okay, and, and actually where that's also concerned is that even though each week, so the monthly challenge comes the first week, the next week is the contemplation, and the next week is the consider this, and then the fourth week is actually our, our live Q&A like this, and then the module two starts and it goes the same way. So even though, you know, it's been broken down and there's a, a timeline that I'm doing things in, I want you to know that if you need to kind of go a little slower, that's okay on this mentorship, okay? That is perfectly okay. And I've built the mentorship to allow for this. Um, the other thing is that uh, every three modules, I've also built in a two-week implementation break. And so what that means is in that two weeks that comes up after a few modules, there is no new learning that goes on in that two weeks. So that two weeks is to kind of give you some breathing room where you can, you know, play catch up if you'd like to call it that, right? Or it, it will be there so that you can, um, you know, just have a little bit of uh, downtime where you can absorb things a little bit more. But don't worry about keeping up, okay? All right. Um, so the next thing... I'm, these are in no particular order. They're just in the order that the questions came in for uh, for me, okay? And so what if I'm on holidays when the doors are open for registration, okay? So the doors will actually open next Wednesday, and I believe that's September 19th, and they will only be open for four days. So they close uh, midnight on the 22nd. We only allow people to register within that time period. That's very specific because... I want to make sure that I've got the group together to start together, to, to process together right at the beginning, and I want to be able to focus on you guys. 
I, I don't want my focus to be on helping people with registrations while you guys are starting your, your mentorship process. I want to be there for you guys. So the doors open on, on Wednesday and it'll close at midnight on Saturday. So if you are away during that time, um, you can contact me. So some of you um, have access to me because you, you are physically in space with in the space with me at the studio and what have you. Um, if you would like to contact me and you, you know you're not physically at the studio, my email address is Kavita, K-A-V-I-T-A, -A, and I'm actually going to give you the Masterful Path email. So it's Kavita at themasterfulpath.com. Okay, so you can send me an email and uh, we can arrange to get you registered even if you're away during that, uh, that time period. The registration is done online, so most of you will have access to the internet even if you're away, but if you're going to run into uh, trouble with the internet, contact me and we'll get you registered inside of that time period. Okay? Hi Shelly, good to see you. Okay, so... Um, so what is the cost associated with it? Okay, so what I've done here is I've actually um, put together two pricing structures for you guys. And the pricing, by the way, is just to make sure that I'm covering the real estate, as it were, to run the mentorship program. Because, you know, it requires real estate to, to run the program based on the fact that I have to use a platform and what have you. So the two, um, the two options you've got is you can do the yearly option and the yearly option will be 264 Canadian and that's with the taxes. Okay. And I, I believe it comes up to about something like $21 or something like that per month. Okay. And the, the other option is to do the monthly option. So the monthly option is $27 a month. So, um, that that's your pricing structure you're looking at. So you can choose to do it monthly and you can choose to do it yearly. It's up to you. Okay. But I've tried to, to cost it in such a way that it's going to be accessible for pretty much everybody. And again, that is just to cover the cost of the platform. Okay. So the next one is, is the program ongoing? Um, is there, or is it, you know, within a specific length of time, etc. Hi, Danny. Good to see you again. Okay. Um, so the program is ongoing. So right now I've actually already prepared, uh, your lessons for an entire year. And then what's going to happen is as the year comes around to so the next September, uh, we're going to, there are going to be more lessons that keep going and more lessons that keep going. Um, I was talking tonight actually in my meditation class that I was teaching about the fact that, you know, the, the path of self-mastery, you'll, you'll see this with Eastern philosophy, the path of self-mastery is, um, I'm going to use the word circular, okay, um, as in you go through these stages and then you're meant to keep passing through and as you pass through, it's like, you know, putting a groove in sand, you go deeper and deeper and deeper. Okay, uh, you see it with, let's say, karate and kung fu and, and the belt system, you know, you start with a white belt, you go all the way up to a black belt, but actually as you continue to master, you, you know, black belt being mastered, but as you continue to master that, the black belt actually starts to fry and become a white belt again. And so it's you returning back to move through. That's what we're, we're talking about with uh, mastery. And so the lessons are ongoing. As I mentioned to you guys, my father is my mentor. He, you know, he's a yogi and, and he's been mentoring me my entire life. And it's an ongoing thing um, that has served me well. And that is what I desire to do for you guys. And that I had mentioned in a video that I posted previously about my why, it's that, you know, in North America, this isn't really done. It's an Eastern way of functioning on the path of self-mastery. And it's not really done in, in um, the West. And yet there is such a benefit to it. There is, is such, um, the, the, the lack of progress that I notice is directly related to the fact that there's lack of support. So I was mentioning earlier about that the fact that there are two reasons that people don't tend to progress. The first was overwhelm. The second one is actually lack of support. There's not enough support, especially within the model that's utilized in North America. So um, the lessons are ongoing. The idea being is that I'm here to mentor you and I am committed to your path. And so I'm committed to being here with you on an ongoing basis. Okay. All right. Um, I'm just seeing if I've missed anything, um, specific length of time, difference, etc. Oh, there is one last question here. Um, what is the benefit to joining the Masterful Path at this launch, which is occurring next week, versus at a launch in the future? So I was mentioning that the, 
that the doors are only open for four days. Um, the idea being is that <laughs> the idea, thank you, you're most welcome, Livy. The idea being that um, we'll open the doors again a, a second time in the year, but it's not until 2019, um, and it, it, so it won't be s until several months down the road. So twice a year is when we'll be uh, allowing you know mentees to come in. So with that in mind, um, the first launch we do, which is next week, hi Christina, the first launch we do is uh, the foundational launch, which means that anybody who joins the, the mentorship program next week for this launch become founding members. And the founding members will actually have the lowest price. As I mentioned to you, um, you know, I gave a couple of uh, different pricings, the monthly and the, the yearly. That those two options, they actually go up the next time we launch. And it's just because I've really minimized uh, our costings for the foundational mem uh, mentees who are coming in. So anyone who joins this time will be a foundational uh, uh, mentor or other mentee. Um, and the idea is that, hi Shelly, that is going to uh, continue, that pricing structure is going to travel with you through your entire mentorship so long as you're, you're part of the mentorship uh, group, okay? So if you join now, that happens. If you join for future launches, the, the price will be higher, okay? So that was the, to answer the question, is there a benefit to joining now versus at future launches, okay? So um, those are all the questions that were sent to me or asked of me in person. Um, I'm going to ask right now if you guys have any other questions that kind of popped into your head that you'd like to have answered. Um, if you don't have anything that popped into your head right now, but later on you've got questions that come up, then um, you know feel free to send me a message. Again, it's Kavita at themasterfulpath.com. Okay, um, you can send me a message and ask questions that way. And if I get a you know a bunch of questions again or questions I think everybody should get the answer to, then I'll arrange another live and I'll come pop on and and um, answer it for you guys so that everybody gets to to get the information that they need. Um, a lot of you are on the wait list and thank you for joining the wait list. Um, Yes, Crystal, absolutely. So, and if you've got questions, Crystal, after you've watched the, the video again, um, please feel free to ask, okay? I, as I was saying, I'll, I'll answer those questions. Um, but um, as I was saying, you guys uh, have joined the wait list. And if you join the wait list, then next week you should get an email letting you know when the doors are about to open and then letting you know when they've actually opened, etc. Uh, so I'm seeing a question. Give me a sec. I'm going to read this. It says, if we've requested to register on the masterfulpath.com, will we? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. So Libby just asked that question. It says, see more. So I'm going to check and see if I get the whole question there. Okay. All right. Um, I think I, I was able to figure out the whole question. It's not showing me the whole thing. Uh, give me a second. I'm going to take a look on my computer screen and see if your whole question is on the computer screen. Okay, Libby? And if it's not, what I'll do is in future, I'll do the lives using, oh, there I am. <laughs> okay. Okay. So does this count towards CECs for the RDY certification? But let's, let's deal with uh, Libby's uh, question first that came up. Maybe I don't see your question here. Oh, maybe it is here. Hang on two seconds. See y'all. Libby, for some reason, your <laughs> Christina best counts in town. Uh, Libby, for some reason, your question isn't showing up on the computer. Um, so if I didn't answer, oh, I did answer it. Thank you. Okay, good. So I did answer the whole question. Um, so Allison, you asked, does this count towards CECs for the RDYT certification? Um, that is something that I'm looking into doing in the future. Um, it's really important from a standards viewpoint, and when I say standards viewpoint, from the Red Door Yoga School's viewpoint, and uh, also from the Yoga Alliance viewpoint, that I have a way of measuring the the work time that you're putting in. And so uh, it'll take me a little bit just to, to figure that out, but that's something I've got my eye to in the future, that I can measure your work time and then you will get CECs for that as well, okay? All right, um, so do we have any other questions that are uh, coming out? Hi Colby, good to see you, okay? 
All right, and Libby says I've answered her question, which is great. All right, so it looks like that might be it for questions that are coming up right now. I know some of you have joined us partway through the live video, and if you've joined us partway through the live video, you know, take a moment when when it's all done. Hi, Barbara. <laughs> And then, you know, look at the video all the way through. And then if you've got questions that are coming up, you can put them in the comment section or email me and I will answer the questions. I'm here to give some clarification, okay? And I look forward to having you guys in the mentorship program uh, starting next week. Thank you for joining me here, everyone. It was great having you. Namaste.